Hi again and thanks for joining me. In this video I thought we'd have a look at this doll's house that I recently purchased. I picked it up at a car boot sale and a car boot sale is an event where you turn up your car and sell whatever you can fit into your car that day and a car boot is like a car trunk in America. The doll's house was three pounds which is about three dollars fifty and for that I thought it was too good a bargain not to pick up. I must admit I wasn't actually shopping for a doll's house. I thought I already had enough of them. But at three pounds I thought, oh why not? I say it's very nicely decorated. It's not actually going to need too much doing to the outside. And it's got this lovely bird motif here. It's actually quite small as well, so it's not very deep as you can see. But on the back, it's actually got two hooks. So the idea is you can hang it off a wall. And I thought that was a really good idea and I've never seen that before. I don't know about you, but very soon I'm going to run out of room in this house as to where I can put all my doll's houses. So I thought that was a superb idea, hanging it off the wall. So it opens at the front. And then inside, you've just got the three little rooms. The top has got a sort of purpley mauve carpet already in it. I'll just push it forward so you can see. And the other two floors aren't carpeted. Now the wallpapers already on the back of these rooms. I, I quite like these two wallpapers, but I'm not sure about this one, I have to be honest. Perhaps it was a Christmas present or something, because it's very Christmassy with the reindeer. But also, it's a very large print put in a doll's house. And I have to say, if that was like in a full-size home, you'd be looking at really, really massive reindeers on your wall, wouldn't you? So I might redecorate that. Now, anyone who's been watching my unboxing video will see that I've been bidding on eBay job lot auctions to get a lot of my doll's house furniture. And one of those auctions didn't have a size on it because the person selling it didn't understand about doll's house sizes. And the furniture was quite small. So the two other doll's houses that I'm doing up at the moment are one twelfth scale. And this furniture wouldn't fit into that because it's way too small. However, I think this is probably more one sixteenth scale furniture. Let me know if you agree or not. And I thought that perhaps the furniture I purchased might actually go into this house. So I thought you might like to join me when I have a workout as to whether or not the furniture will fit into this house. So this is my box of goodies. Now a lot of this came from just one auction online and it was about four pounds. So it was quite a good bargain. I have discovered that people don't know the scale of the furniture. You can often get a better price on it people tend not to bid so much because they're not sure what they're going to be getting. So I've got this wardrobe with this lovely detail on the top. Obviously it's quite a bare wood so it needs something like a liquid paint or something. I thought that might work quite nicely in this top room which I thought I might make into the bedroom. We've also got a bed which obviously needs like a bedspread and some pillows made for it. But again I thought that might work quite nicely in the bedroom, quite a reasonable sized bed for this sort of size house. We've also got another dressing table. Now this is exactly the same style dressing table as I had in my old childhood doll's house that I've recently restored. So I was quite chuffed to go to find another one of those. I think they're quite nice really. I know they're very 90s, sort of 60s, 1970s style, but uh, that's when a lot of the doll's house furniture was made. So I thought that might be quite nice to pop in here. And I think it's quite in keeping with the size of the house, don't you? We've also got a little stool, isn't it? That's what it is, a little stool. And we'll pop that in there like that. Obviously, it will need to be redecorated as well, rather worn. As I say, if it does date from the 1970s, it's done rather well, hasn't it? Let's have a little look and see what else we've got. We've got a little chest of drawers that might work quite nicely in the bedroom. Now, it's quite dark, a lot of this furniture that I picked up, so I don't think the dark wood would work very well in a little lilac -y house. It's a very sort of girly coloured house, isn't it? So I think it might be quite nice if this was all painted white or um, in the, the colour in keeping with the house. But nevertheless, it's quite a nice scale, isn't it? So that might work quite nicely in here. And we've also got lots of little tiny chairs. I think I've got six of these in total. They're rather cute, aren't they? And they're very tiny, little dark coloured wood chairs with little red seats. Again, I think they're too 
darker colour for the style house. They're sort of more Victorian uh, style wood, aren't they? But perhaps if they were painted white, they might look quite cute. So I wondered perhaps we could uh, have that as like a bedroom chair or something. It's quite cute, isn't it? Because I've got this style chair, that actually might work better because it's a sort of a lighter colour. So let's have a little look and see. Yes, I don't know either would work really, wouldn't it? They're all a little bit wobbly. I'm not sure their legs are exactly straight, exactly the same length. But yeah, they're all quite cute, aren't they? So if we move down to the next room, we've got this little chair. Now this actually was left over from my childhood doll's house that I did up, which I've got videos for on my channel. And I didn't actually use the second chair that came with it. It was all looking a little bit busy in the lounge. So I thought perhaps that might go quite nicely in here. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't actually have much to go in a lounge to go in this house. Uh, we've got this chair, which is uh, very heavy, very plasticky. Um, but it's actually got a little broken foot here, so it wobbles quite a lot. So it would need to be repaired or lowered down. Um, but for now, I can probably pop that in the lounge. Uh, we've got a sideboard, which I thought might work as like a TV stand, perhaps. Now, I did actually have two of these, and this one here was missing a door, and this one here, I think, only had the door or <laughs> something similar. So I thought perhaps I would move, well, I moved the door from this one onto here to make this complete. And uh, so it's a nice little unit, isn't it? And I think it sort of looks like the sort of unit that perhaps people might put a TV on, doesn't it? So I thought we might pop that in the lounge too perhaps in the corner there and then have a nice TV on the top of that perhaps. I think the lounge could do with a fireplace or something, couldn't it? So perhaps I'll need to make one for the lounge. So we don't have that much furniture for the rest of the house. I've got this little table here, which I thought looked quite nice for the kitchen. It's quite like, I guess, 1960s style with the little pointed legs, isn't it? But I think that would look quite nice in the kitchen too. So we'll pop that down there and we've got these little chairs I know I've definitely got two of these and one seems to be hiding there he is these chairs well these are quite sweet little chairs aren't they so I thought they might actually look quite nice on the table with the table so let's see how they work yes that works quite nicely doesn't it we've got a little trolley I thought this might act as like a food trolley, so maybe we'll make some food or something to pop on there so it can be wheeled around. It's quite cute, won't it? So we've got the little trolley in the kitchen. Now I don't have any spare cookers or fridges or um, anything like that else to go in the kitchen. Um, so I would need to purchase something or, or make something to go in the kitchen. Uh, we do have these sort of blanket boxes. Um, got these but these are rather large aren't they I think that'd be too large as a sink or something so I've got this one that I think is supposed to be a bedside table that goes with that wardrobe there but to be honest that looks quite a lot like a kitchen unit doesn't it so I thought it might work as a kitchen cabinet obviously it needs to be painted so it's in keeping with the kitchen other than that I'm not sure really what we've got. We've got this other sideboard, might work in the kitchen somewhere, especially when we need to obviously make some more um, front to it, some more uh, coverings. We've also got, I think this is a blanket box. That might work somewhere, perhaps in the lounge as like a, an extra piece of furniture behind the, behind the uh, chairs, perhaps as a blanket box. It might look a little bit like a sideboard or something, mightn't it? We've got another chest of drawers for the bedroom, but I think it probably is a little bit large, don't you? I think the wardrobe works all right, but I'm not sure about the chest of drawers. I think they might be a little on the large size compared to the dressing table. So I'd probably use that chest of drawers, I think. I've also got this little wardrobe, which is very cute, with the art deco on the top. But again, I actually think this wardrobe here works quite nice. It's quite common to get wardrobes that go right up to the ceiling in a room, isn't it? So. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to use that. Or oh, again, I mean, it's the sort of thing that might look a little bit like a sort of um, more like a bureau for the lounge or something, might it, rather than an actual bedroom uh, wardrobe. Other than that, we've got little tables. 
We've also got these lover seats, which are very cute. So I'm sure I'll find or I'll try and find room for these. I'll probably need to paint them. But they're very cute little lover seats, so they sort of go back. Sort of go back to back as far as I know. So you sit like that on them. Hence they're little lover's seat, so you're sitting really close to your lover. I've also got this unit. I didn't actually buy this unit. It was given to me by uh, the daughter of a lady who did up a lot of dolls' houses. Um, I thought that was quite cute. That might go in the kitchen and I could put crockery on it or some plates on it. I'll probably cut it down a little bit because it's rather large. But equally, you could cut it into almost three, couldn't you? And use them as three different bookcases. But I think that's quite cute. So that would either go in the lounge or perhaps the kitchen, perhaps. Again, lick of paint because it's all this very dark, heavy wood. Oh, we've got some more of these chairs. I didn't realise I had so many of those. I've actually got five of those chairs by looks and things. The ones that I've used with the kitchen table. So I could use more of those if I wanted to. We've got this little unit. This is like almost like a doll's um, little bunk bed, isn't it? I'm not sure. It's act just like a child's bunk bed. I think it's a little bit on the small side. Probably a baby's, but I'm not sure you're on a baby on a bunk bed. But um, rather cute, isn't it? And again, we've got oh, a couple more of the lovers' chairs. Oh, certainly one more of the oh, lovers. Oh, no, there's your one. Two more of the lovers' chairs. They say they're very cute, aren't they? The way they go back to back. Some more of the very tiny chairs with the red um, material on them. They're almost like a children's chair scale, aren't they? They're almost too small even for this scale. But I think they could act as maybe children's chairs, couldn't they? Got a few of those. I think I've got four of those in total. And then we've got lots of little sort of side tables and maybe a maybe a little table to go in front of the chairs there. And obviously, I think those lovely chairs might have to move. So I decide what to do with them. Um, but yeah, same work. These little tables work quite nicely. Well, I've got smaller ones, but the smaller ones are a little bit higher, so I'm not sure. Oh dear, I think they're a bit high for the house, don't you? Haven't said that though, you can sort of chop the legs off them, can't you, and make them a bit smaller. So, yes, so lots of things to be thinking about with all of this furniture. So, it's all rather nice, quite exciting, isn't it, to think about what I'm going to do at all. Now, the lady who gave me this unit, her mother used to restore old doll's houses. And the lady gave me these little figures that her mum had made. I think they're rather cute, don't you? As you can see, we've got like a little dad or granddad here wearing his bow tie. We've got some sort of hair that's been sewed on with glasses and a lovely jacket and some trousers. And the lady who's made them is obviously very clever indeed. And she's done the same with the, the ladies here. They're wearing their shawl with a little button on it. Lovely hair here. And a skirt as well. So I think if I'm right in saying, we've got three men. And three ladies. All similar style. Which is very clever. The lady who made all of these, isn't she? So I wondered if they are right scale to go in my house. And I think they might be, don't you? Let's have a little look. Let's maybe pop one on the bed. And I think that's probably about the right size, don't you? And we can maybe pop one in the lounge and have a little look there. And I'd say that looks about the right scale too, don't you? So perhaps I could use some of those figures in this house. Or one might decide to make some of my own. I'll wait and see. I like to sort of uh, play things by ear a little bit. I'm not really good at planning things. <laughs> Great pans always go, go astray, don't they, and what have you. Uh, but the lady also made these very cute little babies too. We've got a little green baby in a little green jumpsuit. we also got a little baby here in a beautiful, like, little prison dress, isn't it? I thought they would be quite cute for the house. Now, she has also made this little Moses basket, but I think the Moses basket is a bit big for the house. So I need to make a new one of those. But I did think the babies looked rather in keeping with the size of the house and they're rather cute aren't they so if I was to make a slightly smaller 
cot or Moses basket for them to go in. That might work quite nicely, mightn't it? So as you can see, I've got lots to be going on with, lots to keep me busy <laughs> and lots to think about. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this doll's house with me and having a look for all the furniture that I've got to see what might suit in this doll's house and what might not. And uh, it's been fun and I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, hope to see you again. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.